Did you know that the terms EMR and EHR are actually not the same thing? Denise here, and I want to talk to you about the differences between EHRs and EMRs. This is Meditab's Weekly Thoughts. When referring to modern practice software, you're probably used to hearing the terms EHR and EMR used interchangeably. After all, they're both electronic records, right? Usually their differences don't matter in conversation, but if you want to know what works best for your practice, understanding these differences can go a long way. First off, an electronic medical record or EMR is a digital patient chart from one single practice. Electronic Health Record, or EHR, is also a digital record, but it can contain the patient's overall health data from various providers. It's a lot harder to share EMRs with other providers, but with EHRs, you can, because they're designed to easily and securely move through different electronic healthcare platforms. EHRs allow medical information to move with the patient as they go from clinic to clinic, pharmacy to pharmacy, and so on. <music> Lastly, EMRs are mostly meant for diagnosis and treatment, but EHRs can support more in-depth care using integrated tools and a broader system. In short, EHRs are more comprehensive and shareable than EMRs, and that difference can mean a lot for your practice. For example, you're referring a patient to a specialist. With an EMR, you might need to print out and physically mail the patient's chart to the specialist. With an EHR, you can share the patient data digitally, and that saves time and effort, while also sharing a wider range of useful information for medical decision making. If you want to read more about how EMRs and EHRs stack up, we have a blog article that digs into all of that. Links in the description. That's it for this episode. Thank you, and see you next week.